my business partner is Roy Dale. He's a um, like two-time city councilman and he um, founder of Dale and Associates. He no longer does the engineering now. He only does the entitlements. Um, but anybody in Nashville who does development, everybody knows Roy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, something great, else. Great, great. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Golf. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. His, yeah, his little track man. And his yeah. whole yeah, room yeah, that he yeah. built. Yeah, He's I think. Done. I think Carla, you've been in that too, haven't you? Were you no. there that time? Oh, you okay. were there. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thought, um, yeah. Yeah. So Roy, I, I show him this piece of land in Clarksville. It's like thirty acres, and it's all zoned single family except this one little corner of it. It's like five acres of it is zoned for multifamily, and there's an easement that runs through the middle, and it kind of cuts the parcel in half. And I go, I go, Roy, look at this. We can buy this for seven hundred thousand dollars. And then we can get this whole other piece rezoned for multi -family. And he goes, absolutely not. He didn't even look at it. This is how he is. No, no, sounds terrible. This sounds like a terrible idea. And like a week later, I'm like, hey, did you look at that land? And he's like, oh, all right, Kimberly, where is it? I'll look it up. And he sits on the phone and he goes, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And then he, I call him back like a week later and he goes, I looked at that land, Kim. Yeah, I think we can do something with it. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of our projects is exactly, the topography is terrible. It's not, oh, look at that creek running through the middle of it. It's never going to work, right? And so we did, we acquired it and uh, got it rezoned for 280 multifamily and then 38 or something single family homes. And then we turned around and sold that um, to a company that's gonna be, they ended up, even though it's a, it's a good good lesson for everybody, just cause it's zoned, doesn't mean you can build the units. So just cause it's got planning approval, doesn't mean that's how many you're gonna get. So you can get 250 units zoned. They, city approved a plan. So grading permit could be pulled, like they approved a plan for 150 something multifamily. And then at the end of the day, after the um, engineer went through and they figured out like, oh, you guys don't wanna do $2 million in retaining walls, da, 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 they ended up only doing 120 units. So when you're going in to buy, you know, a development or buy, you know, looking to do development, you always have to keep that piece of it in mind of like, why do they always wanna wait? until they have those final construction plans. They know what they're gonna, they're gonna actually build before they pay you. And why do builders always want that per unit price worked in as opposed to a flat price? You know, just things to keep in mind. But that one was good. We've taken um, one that was sort of partial, had been approved under a prior zoning and then re reworked that plan. We didn't have to get it rezoned, but the reworked it into a more modern neighborhood, put more units on, and then um, sold that one to Habitat. So, uh -huh. yes. There's your affordable housing coming in. A little affordable housing. Yeah. And then I'm trying to, to get another one off the ground now for in the same area yeah. to do multifamily in. So, yes, Excellent. if you guys are interested in development, then of course we can help you with that too.